Interested in getting fit? How about taking tips from the NFL Super Bowl champion, New York Giants punter Steve Weatherford? Learn the basics, train like a football player, and feel great about yourself. Hey, Steve Weatherford here with you guys today, teaching you guys the correct way to do a bodyweight squat. First thing you want to do is put your feet shoulder width apart. You want to have your chest over, underneath your, over your knees, hands behind your head. It's important not to pull forward. You just want to rest them right in the back here. You want to put the weight on your heels, bend down, go down to 90 degrees, and come back up. If you look from the side, you'll be able to, to draw an L from my calves to my hamstrings. Come back up. That's the beginner's version. To show you guys a little bit more advanced, something I do to create a little bit more of ex an explosion through my hips and through my quads, you're gonna wanna come down. It's called a squat jump. You go down, then you jump up. Reset your feet, come back down, and explode up. That's the Weatherford way. Practice makes perfect. As a professional athlete, I'm never gonna be perfect, but it's something I strive for every day. It's important to focus and be determined. Adversity is going to hit, but how you handle adversity is what makes you a champion. So go out, have fun, and practice. Push up. It's a simple exercise, but it's very easy to execute incorrectly. There's several coaching points, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So we'll get down in a push up position. You're going to want to start down. You put your hands right underneath your shoulders, and it's important to, to keep a, a flat line from your head to your heels. Come down, you push up, and you come back down, and you want to keep everything in a line. It's very important to do this correctly before trying to do too many reps. Show you guys from the side, and before you can get advanced with this, you might want to start on your knees. Cross your legs with your knees, same grip, come down, and come back up. And a way for, to make this a little bit more advanced, something I like to do, is incorporate a ball. You're gonna have the same grip. You're gonna wanna keep everything in a straight line. You come down. And that's the correct way to do a push-up. The body weight plank. This is an exercise that strengthens your core. And as an athlete, all athletic performance stems from your core. This is gonna strengthen your upper abdominals, your lower abdominals, your obliques, and your lower back. As an athlete, you see a lot of people sustain injuries, and the majority of them that I see as a professional athlete stem from the lower back, and that's due to the fact that the core is not strong enough. So this is a great exercise for all ages, and it can benefit you in many different ways. First thing you're gonna do is come down, put your elbows on the ground, you're gonna wanna make an L from your wrist to your shoulder. Then you come up, and you're gonna wanna be able to draw a line from your head to your heels, very similar to the push-up. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is count the 30 seconds right here. And another variation of this is to do it on the side, and this is called the side plank. And this is gonna strengthen your obliques and your lower back. I'm gonna to move to the other side. And you're also gonna to wanna to hold this for 30 seconds as well the weighted medicine ball throw. This is something that I do once a week in addition to the plank to strengthen my core. It, it's something that you can do with your brother, or your sister, your coach, your teammate, your friend. It's a great exercise to create stability through your core and power. You're gonna to wanna to start out in a sit up position with your knees up 90 degrees. You're gonna to wanna to hold this right here as your friend throws the ball to you, you can take it to one side and throw it back, and this is gonna strengthen the right side of your core. Take it down to the left and throw. You can start this with a basketball, with a soccer ball, with a softball. It's very important for you to start small and grow, and grow your abdominals strong enough to be able to have a 15 or 25 pound medicine ball. So have fun with it. Incorporate your family into it. You can get your dad to do it, your mom to do it. Be fit and have fun.